New from overnight for you, Dayton police bust a man they say was making and selling some very large and very dangerous fireworks inside his home. It all started with a neighbor's complaint about some explosions on Queens Avenue in Dayton between Hickory Dale and DeWitt. And uh, let's uh, check in with Brooke Moore now, live in the newsroom. She has the latest on this developing story for us. Brooke. Well, Dan, in just a short while, the Dayton Bomb Squad will be destroying these materials in a field off of Gettysburg. We're told they may be waiting until daylight. Meanwhile, 23-year-old Aaron Griffin is being charged with unlicensed manufacturing of fireworks plus advertising and possession. And it all started with a bang a little before 11 last night. Police were called to Griffin's house in the 4900 block of Queens Avenue near Hickory Dale after neighbors reported hearing fireworks that sounded more like bombs. When officers arrived, they quickly called the Dayton bomb squad out. Crew members suited up and before long they were removing large fireworks, also known as M80s, from inside the home. They also came out with flash powder and other highly volatile firework making materials. And after talking with Griffin, they were also suspicious that he may have been selling the fireworks out of his home. And he was taken away in the back of a cruiser. Now as for the risk involved in this situation, thankfully the homes on the same side of the street, they're all foreclosed, meaning that no one was inside. However, apartments on the opposite side of the street are lived in and that may be where the call to police came from, though no one was evacuated. Now police on the scene tell us the amount of fireworks and firework making materials found were enough to blow up the whole house, possibly killing everyone inside. So had neighbors not made a call, it could have been deadly. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore. Two news on your side.